Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Shape Builder tool in Adobe Illustrator to combine shapes and also to remove shapes. So to get started I'm just going to change the stroke color to none and I'm going to pick a fill color, so maybe just blue. Alright, I'm going to use the rectangle tool, you can use any tool, and I'm just going to draw some overlapping rectangles just like that. Okay, now what I'll do is I'm going to select all three of these rectangles so I can hold down the shift key on the keyboard and just click each shape or each rectangle individually with the selection tool. So now I have three rectangles selected. I can go to the shape builder tool which is this one down here and click on that. Now if I want to join all of these together I can just click and drag from one end to the other one and it's drawing a line through them and now it's built this one single shape so all three rectangles are now joined together to form one shape okay what I'll do is I'll undo that so I'll just press command Z or control Z if you're on Windows just to undo that so now we're back to having three separate rectangles what I'll do again is I'll with the selection tool I'll select all three holding down the shift key and I'll go back to the shape builder tool and you'll notice that when you move the mouse over each um, or each part of the shape, you'll notice that you can see a little plus sign next to the mouse cursor. So if I wanted to just join these two together, I can click and drag those two, and now that's one rectangle. If I want to join these together, now this is one unique shape here. So I can click off to deselect all of those shapes, and now I can move this one around. Um, so you can individually join different shapes together to form a unique shape. So again, I'll undo that and I'll just go back to having three separate rectangles. And this time what I'll do is I'll shift select each of these three rectangles. I'll go back to the shape builder tool and instead of joining bits together, I'm going to hold down the option or alt key. So option key on a Mac or alt key on Windows. And now you should see that the plus symbol changes to a minus. So I'll do that again. So it's plus and changes to minus. Now you can click on bits that you don't want. All right, so I just clicked here and it removed that part of the shape. I could click here and it'll remove that part of the shape as well. Okay, so I might actually delete everything and I'll create one big rectangle and I'll draw Add another rectangle inside it with a different color. And, oops. Okay, so I'll draw a yellow rectangle. I'll move into the center. And now if I want to cut out this yellow rectangle out of the bigger blue rectangle, all I have to do is hold down shift and select each shape. Go back to the shape builder tool. Hold down the option key and click on the yellow rectangle and now it has cut that shape out of the blue rectangle. So now we have a blue rectangle with a hole in the middle of it, or a rectangle cut out of it. Okay, next thing I'll show you is the pen tool. So say if I wanted to just change the color on this side here, and actually I might start with a new shape. So I'll just draw out a big blue rectangle. Okay, now say I want to have this side over here just a little bit darker. All right, what I can do is I can grab the pen tool and I can click individually just to draw points around here. All right, and now what I can do is I can let go of the pen tool, I can go back to the selection tool, and now I have two individual shapes here. I can hold down shift, and select the rectangle, and select this new shape over here. I could go back to the shape builder tool. And I can hold down the option key and click on the outside here to take that part away. So now what I've done is I've still got a rectangle, but now it's broken into two shapes. So I actually have this section over here, which I could then go and change the color of if I wanted to, or I'll just undo that. What I could also do is click on window and open up the transparency panel, which I already have over here. So I could click on window, and transparency to get this panel here. 
And I can change the blend mode or blending mode to uh, either screen to lighten it or multiply to darken it, just like that. Okay, so I could do that again over the other side and I might um, lighten it over the other side. So I'll grab the uh, pen tool. All right, I'll click up here and here. I'll go down here and over here. All right, grab the selection tool. I'll select this shape, big rectangle, and I'll select the new shape hold, while holding down shift. I'll go back to the shape builder tool, hold down option, and now I can take away that shape behind, just like that. Okay, now if I go with the selection tool and just select this new area here, I could change the blending mode to screen, and that will lighten that section. So we can get a bit of a pattern going there quite easily. Okay, so that's basically how to use uh, the shape builder tool and also a little bit of how to use the pen tool as well and uh, also transparency with um, different blending modes. So there's a whole heap of different blending modes there that you could try out, but we'll mostly be using screen and multiply. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.